Ladies and gentlemen, please listen close to what I have to tell you. This is a warning about what's going to be taking place beginning of March. The March to Freedom Convoy to DC 2022. They're going to be releasing more information about this convoy here in the next few days. But they did release a statement that I want to read to you. So pay attention. Please plan ahead and prepare your food pantries, water, gas, and any other special needs that you have. These truckers are going to be tied up and want you to be prepared. These truckers are planning to go across the country on a March 1st, 2022 to peacefully fight for our freedom, giving you time to prepare now with your food, your water, and fuel sources. They do not want you to think that they are attacking the people of this country because they are not. These great truckers are fighting for our freedom and health, standing the ground on the front lines for all of us, all at their own expense. They need our full help and cooperation. You do not need to be a trucker to participate. All are welcome to join in and help in any way. Just remember to keep it peaceful since they will try to make us look like the enemy. Warning, the shells may be empty for some time. Stock up and be prepared now. Think local, buy local, and grow local. Thank you. That was the statement that was released by the March to Freedom Convoy association to dc 2022 that's supposed to be taking place on march 1st they're going to be heading across the country folks so they have given us a time period they have been given us a warning we have been given this nice little time frame in order to top off your preps in order to get your preps in order to get all your things in line in order extra gas whatever it may be you have time to do it it's not like it's going to start now. It's going to start towards March 1st around that area. Like I did say, they will be releasing more information on this in the coming days. What does this mean? This means if these truckers and stuff are in these convoys and are not delivering freight to all the stores and everything else, there's going to be even more shortages than what are taking place right now that you're watching in the background. One thing I want to note, a lot of these pictures that you are seeing are now being emailed to me by a lot of people in this community. They're showing me what is going on on a first-hand basis. A lot of these pictures and stuff are coming directly to me through my email. It's still a very, very scary thing that is going on right now, folks, and we need to be prepped and ready. We have been given a time frame. Things, if this takes place, will be a lot worse than what they are now. You may be finding yourself in a bad position if you do not heed the warning and try to prepare what you can with what you have right now before this starts to take place. Now I'm sure they're not reporting about this, but I'm sure that a lot of stores, especially grocery stores, are trying to do their best to get a stockpile in their back rooms or their warehouses before this takes place so they have a little buffer. So you may not see it right away, but if this prolongs more than a week to two weeks or longer, it's gonna have a huge impact, not only economically, but it's gonna have a huge impact on what you can buy in the stores and what you can get for your family. You need to heed this warning. You need to go through and take an inventory of what you do have because these pictures you're watching could be reality for a lot of people that are stating they don't see any of this. 
because it's only a matter of time when the wheels aren't turning on the trucks. Things aren't moving. Things aren't being delivered to the stores. The truckers are the backbone and have been the backbone of this country for years and years and years. Without the truckers, this country will collapse because there's no other way of moving the amount of goods that are moved on a daily basis in just this country. Look how many loads that are missing that are coming in from Canada because what has took place up there and how many loads can't get in. So Canada is in the same boat that we're in. The stuff can't get across the border. They've got everything blocked because they're trying to make a point. And the point being is you need to be aware of why they are doing this. I'm not going to go into the whole reason why because of YouTube, but you all know what I'm talking about. So comment below. What are you going to try to do to be ready in case this March to Freedom Convoy to DC 2022 takes place and say the truckers are down for two, three, four weeks? Do you have a plan? Comment below. What is your Number one goal in being prepared for something so important that we have been given a warning on. So I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this video today. Thank you so much. Please heed this warning on the chance that this all does take place. The government would love to shut it down, but on the chance that this does take place, Please be ready. They have given us time. Time is a beautiful thing. So till next time, folks, keep safe, keep prepping, keep doing what you're doing, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you very much.